Nikki, what's going on? <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. So oh, I've got a few questions for you about the classic. <laughs> I don't know that's what you want to talk about. Well, let's just add us. Are you playing? Oh, yeah. The classic is something that definitely excites me. I mean, just the history of it, how many great players have gone there and, you know, continue to hoop at their highest level, things like that. Have you gotten a chance to connect with Kenny Cruz? Yeah, yeah, I've actually had the honor to, yeah. You know, wow. you can't hoop at Hammond without his say-so. And it was so important for me to do things the right way, to respect the tradition. So, yeah, we had a nice conversation. He's a cool dude. I bet. <laughs> So, what are your thoughts on going up against Shep Owens? I mean, he was the captain of last year's championship team. You know, Nicole, um, since the first day I got to this city, everyone has been telling me that this is Shep's city. And I took that personally. So, slowly but surely, I've been making it mine. I got the hip-hop heads on my side, the fashionistas, the entrepreneurs, and obviously in the basketball fans as well, NBA, anyway. But Hammond Park? That's like, that's like the last thing between me and total domination. That's Shep's home court, and the only way to topple a bully is to take him down on his home court. So who are you running with? Ooh, foo, 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 foo. I, uh, I got some heavy hitters on my squad, but uh, you're going to have to wait the showtime to find out. Oh, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your time, MP. I'm so looking forward to seeing you at the Classic. For sure. Oh, I'm saying, though. <laughs> How you <laughs> feeling about that Classic, baby? Mm -hmm. Looking mm -hmm. forward to it, bro. <laughs> The streets been saying they miss me. Yeah. But you're not worried about MP? I mean, I heard he got some hoopers on his squad. Man, I don't care who he got. We got me. Mm, that's why yeah. I like to hit Man, this belt ain't going nowhere. Oh, woo. At home right there, baby. Matter of oh. fact, uh, them green jerseys y'all be wearing, right? You think you hook me up with one? They're kind of tight. Those are for the wins of the classic, bro. So, no, I don't think I can hook you up with them. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. You know I can win the classic. <laughs> matter, matter of fact, why don't you ever ask me to hoop? You always be hooping, though. No, don't ever ask. Bro. What? Come on, man. You know I was an all-star. <laughs> Sixth grade church league, you remember? I was going oh, crazy. Uh, bro. Look, all I'm saying is, somebody get hurt. You know what I mean? Just sub me in. No just, way. <laughs> my crossover mean, bro. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I know you got me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Man, you know you can't hoop. Ship, he's funny like a, like a clown. You like clowns, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. I'm going to just... Uh, yeah, why don't you focus on the, answer for you, bud. the media? Mm -hmm. Correct. Andre Ayton out there with Durant, and it's a Kogi in at the small forward. And for the Lakers, Jared Vanderbilt out there with LeBron James, and there's Davis, then it's Russell, and it's James in at the two. To the paint, you take a look at Los Angeles. They notch the big win in the series opener, trying to avoid a letdown here tonight. Greg, what do they need to do to maintain their momentum? You know, Kev, first, I think they need to weather that early storm. They're going to face a desperate opponent. But once the game settles in, it's about playing smart and playing with energy. You're the favorite for a reason. Go out and show the world what you're made of. Well, if they could only hear that from you, that would guide them. That's a, that's a great piece of advice. <laughs> now James, after the miss, three from KD. And the shot goes in. James has got his second bucket of the night. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. We'll now go to David Aldridge, who spoke with Darvin Hand. David. The coach did not mince words. He told his team that even though they took game one, they have to come out and play with even more intensity to keep their home court advantage. He said, so far, we've just held serve. It's only going to get tougher from here on out. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. Man, he's had three good looks at the basket and nothing to show for it. James, a good finish at the rack off the slick feet. James has got eight. Oh, great ball movement there. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And, Kevin, little plays like that one will help them manage this lead heading into the half. How about the determination? For three, Booker. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Yeah, scoreless here early after the first four shots. They, right now, are searching for a bucket. James finds James. And James throws it down. 
this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening. Booker outside. Outside, Katie. Eight and a screen on Vanderbilt. And Katie, here we go. Count that one. Well, that's a, a healthy make there after missing their first four shots. One of five, not what they wanted, but they're on the board. Inside. And it's slammed in by Davis. Great work by the team there to find AD. They make eye contact, and the rest of that is history. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Katie is screen on Russell. Paul dishes to Aiton. Good, and Paul gets the assist. And his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. Now here's James. Ten points for him. Booker pulls it in. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Durant, that's good. Booker more and more becoming a double threat, not just to score the ball, but starting to realize he can set up his teammates. And here is Vanderbilt, following the three from Kevin Durant. James wide open, and right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Ball passes to Durant. Does not score with that shot. It's his second miss against two nations. James with it. He's picked up by Paul. He's full from long range. The shot comes out. And Phoenix the other way now. 106 left to play here in the first. Paul dishes to Booker. The wide open shot is on the money. How smooth is Devin Booker's J right there. And inside the arc, he nails it. James looking it over. And James gets it to go on the assist by James. 16 points for MP. Russell against Paul. Ayton kicks to Booker from deep. Rebound the Lakers. It came out on top in their last match on Wednesday. Tremendous boys on the offensive end. Overall, they did not settle for bad shots. Saw the box score the next day and thought about those percentages. They had guys just going off in that one. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Drops in the layup for two. Booker's got his second bucket. He has good size for his position, and Booker mixing it up on the inside. Vanderbilt, a screen on Paul. Pass to Vanderbilt. And here's James outside. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so is the here for the Lakers. So for the Suns. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. You've got Russell. LeBron James is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's MP. And it's Davis in at the pivot spot manning the middle. That's the Laker five. Now here's Paul after the miss from James. Now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, 
Well, MP in the last matchup against the Suns was a driven man. He had 30 points and he was in a groove all game long from both the free throw line and behind the arc. His play was a big part of why they were able to jump out to an early series lead, taking game one. Back to you, Kevin. David, we appreciate the update. Greg, we'll see if he can keep rolling here tonight. Yeah, and that's the rub. When he's in rhythm, he can carry your team across the line. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws that much attention. Now here's James following the shot by Kevin Durant. James in the post. Yes, that's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got four assists in the game. Suns trail by eight. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. KD's shot is good. 51 seconds left in the first half. Russell passes to Vanderbilt. In the corner, it's James. Hits the three-point bomb. James has got 24. And, and let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. Durant kicks to Booker. And the three off target. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. James misses. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. And Aiton throws it down. Yeah, Aiton out there playing poker with the flush. Here's Russell. Plays it up and banks it in. Russell's got his first points of the night. And they repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we'll be right back after this. Game's going to be over by halftime. I can't do this anytime. Welcome in, everybody. Game two, and it's looking pretty good right now for the Los Angeles Lakers. Hey, yo, their offense has been clicking. They're making the right reads, and they're making the most of their opportunities. I like their aggressiveness, not just taking what the defense gives them. They're taking what they want. Seeing how things are shaking down for the Lakers. They did what they needed to in game one. Got the win. Kept home court advantage. Big fella, how important was that? Uh, it's nice, Ernie, but it means nothing. One loss here and they relinquish home court advantage. Gotta stay hungry. Yeah, they can't sit back and get comfortable. This is when the adjustments are made. They need to be sharp for this one. Momentum up for grabs. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. Playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. It's been a clinic out there by James. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? And everything efficient. Setting the floor for the Suns. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Duran is out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's a Kogi in at the small forward. Here's Russell following the basket by DeAndre. Nice shot by James. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Ball against Russell. Aiton dishes to Booker. Again, Phoenix. That's a good find from Aiton, understanding the defensive scheme, and he just waited for his teammate to be open. On the wing, James, defended by Booker. And foul on the shot. 
Free throw attempts of the game. And the first one drops. And James drills them both. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Eight in a screen on James. And here's Booker from the off. A shot that time, not on target. And the Lakers go on the other way now. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Now here's Booker. He's got nine, and the Suns call time here. And for the Suns, Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for eight. And Warren subbed in for Josh Akogi. Warren, the pass to Paul. Warren kicks to Paul. To the middle, just five to shoot. And Davis sends it back. Just one of the greatest when it comes to blocking shots. AD using that crazy wingspan to create that kind of habit defensively. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. So it's Phoenix now after the basket by the Lakers. Ball with the ball. No points in the game yet for him. Good. Yeah, the tight D didn't bother Chris that time. He's got such good focus going up for that shot. Vanderbilt a screen on more. Here's LeBron. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw. Right now. And Los Angeles with some changes. Bamba is checked in for Anthony Davis. And it's Hachimura in for Vanderbilt. And for the Suns, Baisley's checked in for Durant. Terrence Ross comes in for Booker. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. Now here's Payne. Here's Harold. And the call on the shot. Beasley's checked in for LeBron. He's perfect from the line this time. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. James outside. Bamba a screen on Ross. James the pass to Beasley. James against Ross. Puts up a three. And he nails it. The three-pointer falls from James. James has got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. 152 left in the third quarter. And the pass to Baisley. A three ball. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Ball stolen. And oh, here we go with Ross. Nobody back. Using his length, that's Baisley prying the ball loose, helping out with an extra possession. Here's Reeves. Payne covering. Nailed from three-point land. James has got 38 points. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Well, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. The shot by Beasley, no good. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that, and that's a bad miscue, and you can't give up looks like that all game long. 
Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. And Willie just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. Lakers leading by 12. Reeves the pass to James. A leaner and a little hook that time, but it drops. James has got 40 points. Oh, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him. Game passes to Harold. There's 25 seconds left to play here on the third. And about the Lakers will take possession. And he's making a change here. Aiton's checked in. And Schroeder's got the ball here for Los Angeles. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Pass to James. Hachimura with a screen on Ross. James fires from way outside. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. The Sun. The Sun's call time. A kid, almost legendary dance team on the planet. Once again, let's hear it for your Lakers youth dance team. He dishes it to Paul. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Eight in a screen on James. It's stolen by Davis. Jared Vanderbilt out there with Davis. Then it's MP. And it's LeBron James. And it's Reeves in at the point guard position. That's the Laker five. And what an explosive finisher LeBron is. Rocking the rim whenever he goes up like that. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G slam team. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. The Suns have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter. So they are two of seven. James picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Booker. All up top. Booker finds Paul. Back to Booker. Ayton sets the pick for Booker. Shot clock at six. Can't hit from in close. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 13 to 4 run. And that one's good. James. James has got 42 in the game. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Now here's Paul. Guarded closely. Phoenix, no good that time either. Lakers have gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Davis. Baseline jumper, and again it's the Lakers. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. James, the pass to LeBron. And finished off by LeBron. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Here's Paul. After the basket by the Lakers. Outside Durant. Fires for three. And James pulls it down. Not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. And guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for the Lakers.
It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And this is a team right now that is really playing with swing. Yeah, and anytime you can go up 2-0, you are in the driver's seat. They, they are riding pretty high going into game three. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for MP. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. A huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. James against Booker. James, no good. And here is Paul. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now break two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alder. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. And we'll see you next time.